Samoan Legacy Cup Tag Team Tournament. Introducing first, team number one. Wrestling fans, welcome to the WXWC4 Samoan Legacy Cup Tag Team Tournament. I am RC, one of your hosts here tonight, and Carolina Jim will be joining me momentarily. And there has been literally tag teams all over the independent wrestling scene that have been trying, vying to get here. Everyone wants to win the Samoan Legacy Cup. Can you imagine the status as a tag team that you can walk away saying that you were the best in the Samoan Legacy Cup it is absolutely amazing. It is an accomplishment that all these tag teams want to put on their resume. Team number three. We have a lot of new tag teams here, and we have a lot of obviously fan favorite tag teams here from WXWC4. The Settlers being one of those fan favorites. Not really my favorite, but they are fan favorites. Only because when they come out, the smell in the air kind of changes. Another well-known tag team here in WXWC for the elements, kind of bizarre. That could be something that goes in their favor. So here we go. This is to determine the eighth and final team in the 2018 Samoan Cup Tag Team Tournament, the Legacy, the Samoan Cup Legacy Tag Team Tournament. We're gonna find out who is gonna be the eighth team. And this could be to their advantage because all the other tag teams, they're prepared. They know exactly who they're going to be facing. So this team, who is going to win this elimination match, could have a slight advantage going into the tournament later tonight. Carolina Jim, the ring announcer, is going to be joining us. Both guys going for a double drop kick. And we are starting off fast and furious for this elimination bout. Carolina, Jim, get your butt down here. Are you ready for the Samoan Legacy Cup? I'm ready, RC. We're going to find out who that eighth and final tag team will be. And I said before, you have to kind of figure whoever wins this elimination match 
has to have an advantage because everyone else in the tournament, they know the other teams already. They didn't prepare for this possible team. Exactly. This is like the wild card entry. We already knew who the other seven teams. You know, all the other teams have been scouting each other. Nobody knows who the eighth and final team is going to be until tonight. So far, the uh, settlers seem to be in control. I just wish they'd work on their hygiene a little bit more. Coming off the farm, it, uh, you can tell, must have been a ripe day today. Nice snap suplex. Saw a few stains on those purple tights. Look at that. Great, great tag team action with the Settlers. If I'm not mistaken, Settlers former tag team champions here at WXWC4. They might be the favorites in this uh, four-way match. Now you did say this is elimination, am I correct? So once you're pinned, you're gone, it's not over. Or is it is it one fall? It is elimination, you are correct. Okay, well, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't listen to you very often. That's why uh, I can't tell what's going on. My pick in this match, the elements. Only because they're so bizarre. How do you prepare for the elements? They're different, all right. I, uh, my pick has to be the new settlers. Not too familiar with the other two teams. But I said before, every tag team, any, the who's who of tag teams on the independent wrestling scene are here. Everyone wants to have that prestigious title of winning the Samoan Legacy Cup. If these fans would, if these fans realize the teams that were turned down spots in this tournament would make your head spin, RC. Well, right now, the Settlers have been in complete control of this opening match. Double teaming on Frankie Picard. They're not going to get him up easily. He's a big boy. What? Wait a minute. What? What in the? What, what happened there? Are you kidding me? What is Angus Bedford thinking? He just took out his partner, RC. Obviously, obviously he uh, he doesn't care too much about winning the Samoan Cup. Was that a two or three? It looks like count? a two count. He kicked out somehow, RC. Here's to hear James in the ring, double teaming. Oh. I don't know if he's going to kick out of that. The elements are in, taking over. Nice, high cross body. Not only did it, did Angus turn on his partner, but he left him high and dry. Frankie Picard now in control. Which element is that? I'm not sure, RC. That's hard for me to keep well, track. You said their names, didn't you? Iceberg. One is Iceberg Pulse. and one is Pyro Pulse. Well, go up and ask them who's who. <laughs> Can you do that for us? Should we just say element number one is in the ring? We could do that. <laughs> what is. All right, well, it took a little bit, but it was a, a hell, hell of a payoff right there by Frankie Picard. Only got a two count. Don't really know much about American Murder Society. Also dead on arrival, Frankie Picard and Tahir James. From, uh, I believe they're from Combat Zone Wrestling. Now it takes element number one in. Takes him down and that could be it. Two count. To hear James not letting up on the element. How about later on the return of the great Samu? Looking forward to that, RC, tagging up with his son, you're Lance. Pumped. You're the only one. Impressed with the quick tags from to hear James oh. and Frankie Picard. Caught element number two sleeping. 
And I think American Murder Society, have they even been illeg- legally in the ring at this point? I, they have not legally been involved in this match at all. You know what? And, and I like their strategy. Their attitude is, you know what? Kill each other. Go at it. They'll just go in and take care of the scraps. And I would not want to be a referee in this situation. I think that's a two count. I couldn't tell. She's afraid to hurt her hand. Frankie Picard picking it up. Tags in to here James. Looks like a little more double teaming with dead on arrival. Using that five count to their advantage. Nothing wrong with that, Carolina. Look out, ref. Oh, in the corner, hard. Big splash. Oh, he tried for the bulldog. I don't think he got quite all of it. Did he get enough, though? Two count only. Element number two saving <laughs> his partner. And he had to come in a long way. To hear, not happy with that. But you don't blame him. This is the Samoan Cup. This is the legacy Samoan Cup. It's all on the table tonight. I mean, legendary, the Samoans. I don't like them, but I got to give them their due. Legendary here in wrestling. Samoan, one of the biggest families in professional wrestling. Is this going to pay off for Tajir? They're going all the way up top, Carolina. Element number one, though, Mike, he's getting the best of them right now. Oh! Comes down with a scissors kick. But what did that do to element number one? It might have hurt him more than it hurt to hear James. Now who's going to elevate element number one? Wait a minute. Frankie Picard pulled off element number two. Ah! The daughter of death, Adriana, having no parts of that. A big boo-boo. And now element number one. The fists are flying, Carolina. Oh, to hear James man with a big right. Whips him in. Shoulder to the midsection. The elements double teaming. Not looking good for DOA. What is this? Oh! A DDT! For the pin! There's a three count! Dead on arrival has been eliminated. We're down to two teams. The elements in American Murder Society. Wait a minute! Is that a three count? Ladies and gentlemen, your winners in Camp Vision 2, the final stop of the Samoan Legacy Cup, the team of American Murder Society. How long were they in the ring? For like 10 seconds and they picked up the win. Like you said, RC, they went in there to get the the scraps at the end. What a strategy by American Murder Society. And to say that they are fresh is an understatement. What a tournament so far. And we're just kicking off here at WXWC4 in Allentown. The unlikely pairing of Samuel Adams and a local Sailor Andrews here. I can't think of three men that are more in the center of controversy all the time than Diablo Rojo, Samuel Adams, and El Lobo. I think it's a very dangerous and smart pairing. Diablo Rojo works off of a commission. The more money his clients make, the more percentage of a cut he gets. That's money for him. I am going to be the best professional wrestler singles, the best professional wrestler tag team. I got the little crazy man, like Tasmanian Devil, on my side. There's nothing else I can do with this. Oh, down, boy! Down, down. He hasn't had his kibbles and bits yet. What do you want? It's okay. It's okay. Congratulations on your first time teaming together, Mr. Goodluck Samuel Adams and El Lobo, and their manager, Diablo Rojo. April 7th, Samoan Legacy Cup. 
Are you ready? Estamos detrás de la Copa de los Samoa Legacy Cup y sabes qué? Vamos a ganar esa copa y no solo eso. Venimos what? en busca de los títulos también. <laughs> okay, hi, fellas. You see, what you have here is the combination, perfect combination, brother. What you have here is the lobo, this beast, this animal, this little, little Tasmanian devil that will rip your throat out if you get too close to him. Then what else do you have? The best, the greatest singles professional wrestler to ever so live, Mr. Goodluck Samuel <laughs> Adams, here in Puerto Rico, anywhere in the world. Now you say to yourself, what do you do when you take this combination put it together? Now you have a dream team. Now you have an unholy alliance that's going to get the Samoan Legacy Cup and take it to new heights for our island of Puerto Rico. Tell them, Lobo. Get away. <laughs> Señoras y señores, Samuel Adams lo ha dicho todo. Pero sin embargo hay algo que falta y es el ingrediente que yo voy a decir. Este caballero y yo por años... Hemos cruzado en caminos contrarios, hemos chocado. Sin embargo, la vida da vueltas y el destino lo tiene aquí. Por la simple y sencilla razón que aunque él tenga su estilo y yo tenga el mío, ambos hemos pasado por lo mismo. Ninguno creyó en nosotros. Nobody. We've been stabbed in the back for trusting. And the only thing we have right now is professional wrestling. No matter where we live, no matter where we sleep, We are the Old Holy Alliance. Cuando yo miré a los ojos a Samu, le dije lo siguiente. Alpha and Sika did whatever they had to do to be in the name of the gods. So did Samu and Rikishi Patu. Then the sons of Samoa and then the legacy. Let me tell you something, guys. WWE Hall of Fame. We might not get along with you, but we are aware. Sabemos muy bien lo peligroso que son. Y hasta el mismo peligro es que nosotros vamos a dar este 7 de abril por la simple y sencilla razón de que vamos por la copa el 7 de abril. Tiburon Solutions and Auto Services, located at 1008 South 4th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We will find any part for any car. We also repair engines and transmissions, tune-ups, oil change, paint and body, brakes, tires, welding, and much more. We don't just find it, we do it all. Our hours of operation are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We speak English and Espanol. Our phone number is 484-951-7446.
our first official opening round of the Legacy Cup 2018 and we are kicking it off with a team that I am predicting. I am picking El Lobo and Sam Adams to win the whole thing. You heard it here first. That's my pick right there. Carolina Jim making his way back to the commentary area and I'm going to put him on the spot here momentarily. Carolina Jim I just revealed my pick, who I think's gonna win it all. And that's the team of El Lobo and Sam Adams. That's my pick right now. To win it all, to win to the win whole it. Samoan. They are gonna be taking that beautiful cup home back to Puerto Rico, and they are gonna parte, and Rojo is gonna be singing at the celebration party. Checky, 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 check. It's all going to be going down when they win the Legacy Cup. What's your pick? Who's your pick? I have to. I can't pick against the Anawai family. Well, of course not. Lance You're and Samu. You're such a mark for the Samoans. Hear the howls. What do you know about Defiance? I know Defiance. I've seen them a few times. They're a great tag team, but I don't know if they're any match for Lobo, Tyler Andrews, and Mr. Goodluck, Samuel Adams. It's going to be an interesting uh, opening round here. Cannot wait. I'm telling you. Mark it right now. Mark. They don't even need to have any more matches. Just give, the, just give the Sam Adams and Lobo the the cup right now. Rojo, the the the, the mastermind at ringside. He's also a, a great singer, by the way. Oh, he's a mastermind, all right. 
Now, you know, Lobo better watch it now. He's putting his hands on the official. You don't want to do something stupid like that and get disqualified out of this tournament. Get disqualified, you're gone. Charisma personify Chris Caden set to start out for Defiance. El Lobo, Siler Andrews starting out with his team. They lock up. We gonna see a clean break? I hope not. Messi, come on, that was uncalled for, Carolina. Give him a chance. I think the fans are clearly behind Defiance in this match. Don't even get me started about the fans here in Allentown. Uh-oh, former champ coming in the ring. Former champ, Mr. Goodluck. He is a need good luck. He is Mr. Goodluck. The Puerto Rican Larry Zabisco. I think he would take that as a compliment. Here we go. And they lock up. We're going to see a clean break from Samuel Adams. As always. Come on, ref white. Uh oh, oh no, wait a minute. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, Sam. El Diablo better get a yeah. control of his team. Rojo, get up there. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What's Rojo doing? Hey, 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 hey. Take it easy with the, what's, what's wrong with that referee? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. What, what, what? You gotta be kidding me. Go ahead, let him go. Let him fight! Let them fight! Let them fight! It's like Conor McGregor here. All we need is for Rojo to throw some sort of uh, apparatus through there a window. A, is there a bus outside? Yeah. You don't want to get him mad, obviously. Uh-oh, turn around! Come on, ref! I think that was more than five seconds. It's been all defiance. I don't think uh, Diablo Rojo helped his team any, getting them all. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm speechless over Diablo. I, I knew he had a temper. I knew it. I think he lit a fire under defiance. Chris Caden in the ring there with Samuel Adams. That might be it, RC. No, not in the former champ. But no denying that Sam Adams needs to tag out to Lobo. And he is just pacing. Look at this move. What a brilliant move. Caden hard to the outside. And Siler Andrews not letting up on Chris Caden on the floor. Referee not watching what's going on on the outside. Well, I know Mr. Goodluck has some very legitimate gripes. What a way to start out the Samoan Legacy Cup, RC. This match could go either way. Absolutely. Now with Sam, Sam Adams in complete control. Look at this. That's the handle tag. That's the experience right there. The experience you have with Adams and Lobo. That's why they're going right to the final match of the Legacy Cup. Caden whipped hard into the corner. Met with a standing drop kick. What a drop kick. And you know what? Oh, wait a minute, going for the pin here. This could be it. Didn't no. hook the leg. No, it didn't hook the leg. And I know for a fact, once Adams and Lobo win the cup, they're taking it back to Puerto Rico, melting it down into some good bling. It wouldn't surprise me, RC. It'll look good over Rojo's neck. Not looking good for Chris Caden. He needs to make a tag to Maximo Suave. 
Is he relation to Rico Suave? He might be a distant cousin. Do you know who Rico Suave is? Yes, I know who Rico yeah, Suave is. You have really bad taste in music. That's how I knew you would know who Rico Suave Rico is. Rico Suave. <laughs> yeah, Rico exactly. Rico Suave. I know he's no pit bull. You're right about that. Now Lobo just wearing him down, putting all that weight on the neck and the and the head. Vance trying to get behind Charisma personified Chris Caden. He's not very charismatic. Uh, he doesn't have much charisma right now. There we go. Whoa, he has his beard. That's right. Whoa. Ducks to clothesline. Another. Oh, knife edge shot. Another chop. Wait a minute. Oh. Didn't duck the right. Now he needs to make a tag to Maximo Suave. No, and, and he needs a tag to Sam Adams, which he gets. Uh-oh. Some fresh legs in the ring. Suave, a house of fire. Sam, Bomb strike. Sam Adams has no idea what's hitting him. Oh, Suave is on a roll. And just like that. Defiance using that five count to their advantage. Obviously, it's not their first rodeo as a tag team. Defiance, very well oiled tag team machine. Big super kick. El is, Lobos. Who's even legal? You don't even know. Referee has completely lost control. Oh, defiance. A house of fire. Well, yeah, but could, could the referee get one of them out? That might be it for El Lobo, Siler Andrews. Where is Sam Adams? Where's Sam? Come on, Adams. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, go behind I Sam love it. Adams. I love it. Score. Get it. Over. Just announce them as the, 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 the winners of the Legacy Cup. Just give them the cup right now. Big win. Big win for my picks in the 2018 Legacy Cup. The Samoan Legacy Cup. Sam Adams. El Lobo. Awesome win here at WXWC4.
we have a WXWC4 fan base fan favorite here, SPF, in this particular matchup. And they get the task of taking on the team that just literally got into the tournament moments ago. Carolina Jim is once again joining me here at the commentating booth in Carolina. The tag team, SBF, and they are taking on American Murder Society, who just got in moments ago. Let's face it, how they got into the tournament was pretty quick, pretty easy. This is not going to be as easy. Not at all, RC, not at all. And this crowd, we can tell who they're behind. Oh, there, there, there's your test of strength right there. 
Big J chop by Conway. Conway and Steve off the legal men to start out. Ducks the clothesline, another slap by Jimmy Conway. Here comes Luca now into the ring. Double elbow by SPF. And another one. Hooks the leg and he gets a two count. Right from the streets of Philly. Unfortunately, why the referee allows him to bring that bat, that weapon into the ring is beyond me. You don't even have, this tag team is so, you don't even have their information anymore. That's how new they, is, they are. Big boot by Jimmy Conway. Fans here at the WXW C4 Arena, they love South Philly's finest. No matter who you put in the ring with them too, you know the fans are gonna be behind SPF. You never made your pick. Didn't I ask you who you were gonna pick for this? Deanna, oh, that's right. you're, you're Sabu picking and them. Lance. You're picking them, that's right. Anawai, strong. Yeah, okay. This crowd behind Luca of SPF. Some nice forearms right to the side of the face. Ooh. Oh, boot to the back. Didn't seem to phase Luca, however. Oh, look at that. Tripped him up. Now we're going to see what American Murder Society can do. Relentless Aaron Bradley. Climbing onto the floor with his partner Steve off, bringing Luca Brazzi back in the hard way. I mean, let's face it, they are definitely the freshest tag team. American Murder Society just squeezing their way in this tournament. There's a tag, a phantom tag, a nice clothesline. American Murder Society double team and SPF. No, using that five second rule. I mean, let's face it. We, we can't have SBF win. What would they do with the with that beautiful Legacy Cup? They'd hawk it in Philly. Jimmy might take it on 69 News. Knowing Conway, he'd probably throw up in it. Known to throw up once or twice before. Yeah, it's exactly. American Murder Society now in complete control, and that's a lot of weight coming down on Luca. Luca, definitely the smallest performer here tonight. Well, in American this match. Murder Society definitely with the weight advantage over SPF. Oh, that elbow rocked Luca. Not sure if they're up there with the brains department, though, with SPF. But. Oh, you're saying that SPF is smart? Really? Compared to American Murder Society. Nice springboard. I don't know. I think they were pretty smart in the first match. American Murder Society now just taking their time, which I don't really agree with. You can't do that with an SPF. You got to stay on them. You got to keep them off balance. Don't let them control the tempo. Up and over. Needed a midsection. Trying for a neck breaker. Didn't get it. Scoop. And not a slam. <laughs> Hot tag. Oh, Jimmy Conway, a house of fire. Conway in complete control. Taking him down.
the Jen in total control. Referee distracted Jimmy. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but it was enough time for American Murder Society to get their upper hand. Now what? 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 Do you want a drink? Is that the powder? Is that powder? I think you're right. Yeah, it is the powder. Well, you know what? Have you felt? Look how look how slimy and greasy the SPF look. Oh! oh! Powder in the eyes! Powder in the eyes! You're killing me! I'm not sure why they even brought the powder in the ring, Carolina. That was a dumb move by American Murder Society. I said the brains are on South Philly Finest side. Well, I wouldn't go that far either. But they are advancing in the 2018 Samoan Legacy Cup here at WXWC4.
Well, this is what WXWC4's fans have been waiting for. Legendary great Samu teaming up with his son Lance Anawai. I don't like them, but I can't take anything away from them. Legendary here in Allentown. And they want to keep that cup. They want to keep the Samoan Legacy Cup in their family. What a huge matchup this is. I would not want to be any member of the Wildcats. Carolina, this is the one that everyone's been waiting for. The great Samu and Lance on Hawaii tagging up together. And this is your pick. This is who I'm saying is going all the way. There's the great Samu. Like I said, I don't like them, but I can't take anything away from them. Legendary. Here we are, WrestleMania weekend. How many WrestleManias does Samu uh, participate in? Quite a few. And how many maybe in the near future will that individual be involved in? Lance Anawai. But can you imagine? the feather in the cap of the Wildcats if they knock off what I'm sure not only you, but probably everyone else in this arena is picking them to win. If they pull off the, uh, the, the upset, the Wildcats, it would just send waves, shock waves, shock waves through the wrestling world. I'm so excited, I meant to say the wild cards. The ace, Eddie Page, ruthless, Jason Raditz. Impressive looking tag team, RC. I've I'm seen not them. too familiar with them. I saw them many times, it's been a long time since I've seen them, but they've always impressed me. And let's face it, once Samu gets in the ring, the wild cards can pick any body part and, and they take him down in a heartbeat. The future Lance Anawahi starting for Anawahi Strong. Are you going to keep saying that? Are you really going to keep saying that? Do you have a, do you, I'm not sure you're not wearing your t shirt, Anawahi Strong t shirt. Uncalled for by Lance. Lance in control. When was the last time the great Samu and Lance even tagged up together? It's been a while, at least in Allentown. What a treat for these fans. What a treat for me when he loses. I think uh, ruthless Jason Raditz wants the old man, Samu. Good for him. Good for him. Let's face it, he, he's pretty, he's a broken, he's a broke, he's a shell of what he used to be. One half of the former head strinkers, one third of the wild Samoans with Afa and Sika. My very first wrestling show I ever attended, Samu was in the one of the top matches on that night. And he was even 50 then. Legend, Samu Anawahi. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Up and over. Oh, he didn't duck that clothesline. Where'd that clothesline come from? Uh-oh. 
That could be a DQ, Carolina. Oh, come on! Right in the coconuts. Oh, the headbutt! headbutt. And here comes Lance. The future Anawahi of Anawahi Strong. The ace Eddie Page tug in. Then with a hip toss. Arm drag. With authority. With authority. Well, we're going to see the leg drop following up that, but we didn't. Or a drop kick. The wild cards need to regroup and regroup in a hurry. Jason Raddis with a quick tag. And this could be the opening right here. Oh, wild cards, double team in Lance. Sends him in. Ducks the double clothesline. Oh! Oh, big cross body. He took both of them down with that. Watch it, ref. The great Samu will get a cheap shot in. RC, we still got one more opening round match here in the Samoan Legacy Cup. How are the brackets looking, Carolina? How are they looking? They're looking. Thanks. Appreciate that. After the next match, we should have a good idea as to who the semifinals will be. Lance now in complete control. Loving the atmosphere here tonight. Oh, this crowd is in it to everything. They are loving this. That might be it. Well, I'll tell you right now. Okay. If the wild cards soon don't turn things around, it's going to be over in no time. Oh, what a shot by Lance, which was a fist, by the way. Toe-to-toe -to -toe they're going. Oh, Lance with a big right of his own. Here comes the, oh. old, here comes the old man. Samu tug in. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, ref. Anawahi Strong going at it with Jason Raddatz in the corner. Now Samu's behind him. Wait. Oh, he just, oh, oh, low blow. Low blow. What a great move. The ace, Eddie Page, tug in, taking advantage of that low blow. Great job by Ruthless. Now this is what they need. They need to, to beat down the shell of a man. They need to, to take him apart, stay on him. But listen to this crowd. Hear that Samu chant. They love the Samoans here in Allentown. That's because they're brainwashed. Again with the quick tags by the wild cards. And Samu is in trouble. Let's face it, out of the, out of the two on Hawaii's, this is the one you don't want in there. Impressed with the quick tags. Samu not in the correct corner though. No, not I in, think he's in the perfect corner. Oh, he's in the wrong side of the ring. You're starting to get nervous. Your pick isn't looking too good. You can't change it either. Don't even be like I'm that. I'm not changing. You're, I knew you were going to. You want to jump off Samu in a, on a heartbeat. You know, if I was the Wildcats of the Wild Cards, I would just just continue to stomp on his feet. Both of them in there with no boots on. Sam is in, is in real trouble right here. The ace wearing him down. They need to stay on top of the great Samu. The wild card is just toying. Just toying with Lance. Lance 
trying to make a tag to his father. He sees his father's in a lot of trouble. This might not be good. Oh! What? Still some life left in Samu. Oh, come on, ref. Don't let him up. Don't let him up, Ace. Don't let him up. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Two count. Lance ready to make the save. Illegally. Sam Moo's in trouble. Let's face it, he's in trouble. He's not in the right side of the ring, I give you that. How many ring wars has he been in? Oh, look at that. Now he needs to make a tag. Hot tag. Here comes Lance. Off the top. Oh, double drop kick off the top. Unbelievable. Where is he getting it from? Look at Lance. Another splash. Oh, Lance, a house of fire. A little tribute to Rikishi. Samoan drop. That might be it. A Only a two count. Was that two or three? Samu thought that was a three count. Oh, meeting of the minds. Double side Russian leg sweep. Head first. Uh-oh. Here goes Lance. We know what's going to happen here, Carolina. Superfly splash. Off the top. And that should do it. But what kind of condition will Samu be in? Huh? What kind of condition? He doesn't look like a winner to me right now, Carolina. But they are advancing in the 2018 Samoan Legacy Cup here in WXWC4. Tiburón Solutions Auto Services, localizado en la 1008 Sur en el 4th Street en Allentown, Pennsylvania. Conseguimos cualquier parte para cualquier auto. También reparamos motores y transmisiones. Tune-up, cambio de aceite, pintura, freno, gomas, soldadura y mucho más. No solo conseguimos de todo, también hacemos de todo. Nuestro horario de servicio es de lunes a sábado, de 8 de la mañana a 6 de la tarde. Hablamos español e inglés. Nuestro teléfono, 484-951-7400.
Very true, very true. you're being friends never trust the golden girl <laughs> what you're ridiculous we have some newcomers here carolina right oh i don't know if her hair is natural either you know what i mean now here comes all natural oh going for a ride 
Miley Cyrus. Not sure that's the kind of ride Trixie Tash was looking for. No, you mean Miley. Is this a fight to see who's more manly than the other oh, one? Oh. My money's on Corinne. Oh, where'd she come Trixie from? Trixie Tash, a house of fire. With those forearms. And now kicking her down. Uh oh. She got caught. Not looking good for Trixie Tash. Oh, ho. Back suplex. Now, uh, do, a new, do we have a new friendship here, Carolina? It doesn't take much with Corinne. I was never a big Golden Girl fan. Which Golden Girl is she supposed to be anyway? Uh, she doesn't look like any of them. They better pay attention to Miley Cyrus. Yeah, tell them. Oh, look at that didn't work out. Oh! <laughs> Almost took her completely out of the ring. And they are just having their way with her. Back to coffee talk with Eddie McQueen and Corinne Mink. Oh, my God. She was going to get launched into another zip code. And now what? They're having their way with Trixie Tash. All 120 pounds of her. Takes her down. And that could be... Uh oh What happened there? Oh, she wants to pin. Excuse me, RC? No, excuse me. Uh-oh. She better watch Eddie's hair. The little hair that Eddie has. Oh! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Luger in the face. Oh, and a slap to the face. Poor Eddie. Here comes some more elbows. Big splash. Another elbow. Trixie Tash came to wrestle. Oh! That was off cue. One-legged drop kick did enough to take Eddie down. Another one. Miley Cyrus is a house of fire now. That's what Eddie said it was. I always believe Eddie. Trixie Tash and Corinne Mink. What's her name, Trixie? Trixie Tash. Tenacious Trixie Tash. And that could be it. Nope, Eddie's Eddie not going to allow it. Eddie with the save. It, the queen is not going to allow that. Somebody needs to tell Eddie, John Nord wants his boots back. Oh, my God. The most vicious hair pulling ever. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh. oh. Let go of Eddie's hair. The humanity. This is crazy. Cat fight! We got a cat fight, RC. Only in Allentown, baby. I love it. I think it's still considered a cat fight, right? But now Trixie, tenacious Trixie's up again. Maybe she's leaving. Yeah, okay. See, they can play nice. They can play nice. Oh! What a knee to the stomach. And here comes Tenacious. Somebody, somebody better pay attention to Trixie. Oh, drop kick on the Golden Girl. It was set for Eddie, though. <laughs> Eddie says, get out. Uh oh, look at Eddie steals one. I love it. Now, now, does Eddie advance in the Legacy Cup tournament? 
He's, he, he doesn't advance? Eddie doesn't advance, and it was a non- right, He won! It was a non-tournament match, RC. Now you tell me. I want to see more Eddie! Tiburon Solutions and Auto Services, located at 1008 South 4th Street in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We will find any part for any car. We also repair engines and transmissions, tune-ups, oil change, paint and body, brakes, tires, welding, and much more. We don't just find it, we do it all. Our hours of operation are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We speak English and Espanol. Our phone number is 484-951-7446.
the Super Savages taking on the greatest of all time. Here, all part of the 2018 Samoan Legacy Cup for WXWC4 in Allentown. I hope Carolina has some information about the Super Savages. I doubt it, though. Please tell me you know anything about the Super Savages. Anything. I know they like fried chicken. Yeah, obviously. It might take us. It might take us a time limit to see who's going to start for them. So now, where exactly did the Super Savages come from? The Green Hill Zone. Oh, okay. Well, looks like we have the caveman starting off. But they're in there with the WXWC4 Tag Team Champs. It's a non-title match, but they are in there with the champs. And I know the greatest of all time, GOAT, they want to somehow get their hands on Lance and Samu. That has been brewing for a long time. What a finals that would be if we had Anawahi Strong taking on representing the GOAT, Zoltan. Does the caveman even speak English? He speaks something. I don't know if it's English, though. Well, you got, how'd you get his information from him? Did he just grunt at you? Butterman uh, was the one that was doing most of the talking. Who? The smooth superhero, Butterman. Butterman? My God, is he biting him? Behind the caveman. Oh, what a shot. That had no effect, though. He's a caveman. He's got a, head, got a hard head, RC. No, that's and not again, the absolute Chris Cage going for the, the fist to the head. That's not going to work. Oh, now, superstar whip Whiplash must not have been paying attention. No. Plan B, guys. Go to plan B. That's not going to happen. Don't forget, we got Ivy Roman at ringside. Hard to not. Oh, believe me, I've been checking that out. Do you see the look that she gives me every time she's out there? I think he likes it. Look at, he likes it. This is crazy, Carolina. He's biting him. Come on, ref. He's a caveman. He don't know any better. Well, then he shouldn't be in the ring. Oh. Have they tagged up before? They're a team. They're just super savages. What an elbow. I think they learned it from watching the superpowers and the mega powers. And they became the super savages. They're more like the super idiots in my book. Here comes Whiplash in now. Superstar Whiplash. See the one with the skirt? Why don't you say it to his face? I, you know what? I, the, the goat is obviously off their game because of how strange these two are. Hard to keep up with all this action, RC. Nice arm drag by the soup, the smooth superhero Butterman. Butterman. I wonder if he's smells like popcorn that you get at the movie theater. <laughs> what? Boy, that's something to brag about. Better than the smell I usually get whenever I'm by the settlers. Nice hurricanrana. Butterman tags in the prehistoric savage. I, I, caveman. I think Goat is just taken back by this team. Period. This is crazy. Oh, I think Ivy Roman needs to get herself involved somehow. To her team's not doing too good. 
to do something. Can you imagine if this team of the Super Savages pull up the upset and get a win? Not only will they advance in the tournament, but they have to get a title match eventually. I would say they would be number one contenders for those WXW C4 tag titles. What is the, oh, come on! You've gotta be kidding me! What's he eating out of his hair? He's hungry. Uh-oh. Oh, she has fire. And that distracted the idiot caveman. It's all oh. about cavemen and fire. Yeah, exactly. Whiplash for the pin! Two count. Now goat in complete control. Snap suplex. Two count. Whiplash. Keeping the caveman in their part of the ring. Smart I move. I don't think the caveman knows where he's at anyway. Of course not. They keep forgetting that they can't hit his head. Oh, here we got Ivy and... Oh, it didn't even hurt her hand. She's not too bright either. I could have swore I heard Caveman give up. I could have swore I heard him say Ooga Booga. That's what that means in Caveman. Is that what it means in Caveman? Yeah, Ooga Booga, Booga means I give up. I'm very, you know, I'm bilingual. I heard you're bilingual. Goat in complete control now. Let's face it. They're, they're, they're going to, anyone, even you can win in the intelligence field over the caveman. Oh, he's unorthodox. Very. And there's a beautiful clothesline. Takes the caveman up and over. The smooth superhero Butterman needs to make a tag somehow to his partner. Here comes Mr. Margarine. Referee should disqualify him for that. All. All four wrestlers trying to come to their senses. I'm guessing the caveman's still the legal man. Oh, who knows? Who knows? And Chris Cage for the Zoltan. They're chanting an Ooga Booga chant. That means he gives up. Uh-oh. Oh, he lands on his feet. Oh, to the midsection. Oh, oh no. double noggin knocker! Oh, no. The old double noggin knocker. The superhero going crazy. Here comes I can't believe it's not butter. Bomb strike. Oh, oh suicide dive. Mr. Parquet out and over. That might be it for Zoltan. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Ivy Roman. Uh, and look, she has fire. that lighter. She has that lighter. She's got fire again. What a great. She is not only beautiful, but intelligent. Bye-bye, caveman. Look at He's gone, Carolina. Caveman following the fire to the back. He's an idiot. That's where you get there, Butterbean whatever you call yourself. You want to tag up with an idiot? That didn't do it. Both members of Greatest of All Time now in. We got two on one. Zoltan and the superhero, Butterman. 
Right now, he's just being lucky. He's just being lucky. Look at that strength by the smooth superhero. Now stop it, you can break their arms that way. Uh oh, beautiful power, double power bomb. There you go. What a big win, big win. And hopefully that's the last time we see those two idiots.